son is searching for answers after he says his mother was hit by a car earlier this week and left to die on the side of the road in Niagara Falls. Authorities are still searching for the driver who hit Yolanda Carr. Well, they say she was riding an e-bike early Monday morning. Tonight, her son shares memories about Yolanda with 7 News reporter Jocelyn Person and has a message for the person who drove away. She was amazing. 50-year-old Yolanda Yvette Carr was killed in a hit and run while riding her e-bike right here earlier this week. This happened around 1 a.m. Monday on 22nd Street and Niagara Avenue in Niagara Falls. I spoke with her son, Daquan Posey. He told me she was on her way home just a few blocks down from where she was hit. I heard someone knocking on my door and um, Unfortunately, it was, you know, that, that knock that nobody wants to get, you know, that a, that a loved one is, is no longer with us. Daquan says his mother worked at the Seneca One Casino, where she was learning how to be a chef. Sunday was the last time Daquan saw his mother at her job. Recently just got a got a new vehicle, and me and her, were, uh, I just pulled up on her to show her my new truck, and we talked about that. She said she was proud of me. Um, she loves me. Couldn't wait to see the kids later uh, the next day, you know what I mean? And um, unfortunately, that didn't happen. But the last time I did see her, it was it was a great experience. If that's, if that's the memory that I have to hold on to, you know, so I can... I can live with that. Daquan remembers Yolanda as a loving person to all, including her nine grandkids. She's up to date with, the, uh, with everything going on, you know, she's... Uh, she was one of those hip, hip moms, if that makes sense, you know? So everybody knows her as being the, the cool parent. Daquan says he's staying strong for his family and cannot believe someone would leave his mother lying on the ground. Once you, once you leave the scene, it's, it's no longer a mistake, it's a choice. So you're making that choice to, to not be a good person. Yolanda was taken to ECMC in Buffalo, where she later died from her injuries. Love, love your people while they're here, you know. And uh, you never know when, you, when your time is up, so take advantage of every, every second you have with someone. Community members and organizers will be gathering Saturday for a bike safety rally in memory of Yolanda Yvette Carr. More information is posted to the story at WKBW.com. In Niagara Falls, Joshua in person, 7 News.